What's up everybody, welcome back. Today we are on the people movement right now, but we are here in the Magic Kingdom. Today is actually a very special day, a very iconic ride, and a very iconic building in any theme park turns 45 years old today. And I'm gonna tell you a bunch of facts and cool secrets about that ride. But yes, we are talking about Space Mountain. So yes, Space Mountain was open on this day in the Magic Kingdom, January 15th, 1975. And it was actually the second ever roller coaster at a Disney theme park. Matterhorn Mountain was built first over in Disneyland, but then Space Mountain was the first ever roller coaster at Walt Disney World, and the second roller coaster ever in a Disney theme park. But actually the success of the Matterhorn Mountain at Disneyland paved the way for Space Mountain to eventually be created. After Matterhorn Mountain, uh, Disney knew that roller coasters could work in their theme park, and Walt Disney actually wanted a space roller coaster in his park. Uh, the technology just wasn't there at the time and then eventually he passed away But this ride Space Mountain was in discussion to be created for a very very long time Years before it was eventually created in 1975 and actually at the Walt Disney World Preview Center There was concepts of a space themed roller coaster that was gonna go in the Magic Kingdom a little side note, if you want to learn more about the Walt Disney World Preview Center, I'll leave a link to a history video I did in the description down below. Early names for the space roller coaster were Spaceport and Space Voyage. But waiting for technology to catch up, Disney eventually completed the Space Mountain building and roller coaster January 15, 1975. And on that opening day, there was actually NASA astronauts and Disney characters dressed as astronauts, as well as a 2,000 man marching band. And when this coaster opened, it was the very first roller coaster to be completely controlled by computers. And it was the world's first indoor steel roller coaster. So in Space Mountain, there is actually two tracks, Alpha and Omega. Right as of today, because of Fast Pass Plus, Fast Pass will go in one direction to one of the tracks and the standby queue will go to the other track. I forget which track is which though. But if you do get the Alpha track, it will actually be on a little bit of a longer ride. The Alpha track is 10 feet longer than the Omega track. And going back to the Matterhorn Mountain, how it kind of influenced Space Mountain a little bit, if you look at the ride vehicles, they are very similar. It's a one person per seat kind of a car and everyone sits behind each other. And that's exactly how over here in Disney World Space Mountain it is. So since the original ride here in Magic Kingdom opened, since the original Space Mountain opened in 1975, there have been four other Space Mountains open around the world. There is the one that opened in 1977 in Disneyland, the one in Tokyo Disneyland opened in 1983, the one in Disneyland Paris opened in 1995, and the one in Hong Kong Disneyland opened in 2005. The Space Mountain that is in Hong Kong as well as in Tokyo are very, very similar. They're pretty much identical to the one that's in Disneyland. Actually, the one at Disneyland in California is a lot smaller than the one over here in the Magic Kingdom because as you guys know, Disneyland is a lot smaller park. They don't have a lot of room to work with. So pretty much everything in Disneyland is on a small scale. They have a tiny, tiny castle compared to the one over here. And their Space Mountain is actually 60 feet smaller than the one here in Magic Kingdom. And also at Disneyland, the ride vehicles are a little bit different. Instead of riding one by one, you ride two by two. And in my opinion, it's a little bit more of a comfortable experience riding that two by two instead of the one by one. It's kind of hard to get in these ones over here in Magic Kingdom. So here's something that's pretty crazy. Over in Disneyland, their Space Mountain actually cost more to build than entirety of Disneyland. Disneyland cost 17 million to build in 1955. 1977, when Space Mountain opened at Disneyland, it cost 18 million, so a whole 1 million more to build. So contrary to popular belief, Space Mountain is not a very fast ride. Um, it actually only goes a top speed of 28 miles per hour. It just feels a lot faster because you're in the dark and you can't see anything, but it is 
actually only three miles per hour faster than the very slow and short Barnstormer. All right, last little fact and secret. Space Mountain, if you ever wanna see Space Mountain with the lights on, I have a little secret for you. Go on the Tomorrowland Transit Authority, the people mover right here. Whenever Space Mountain is down, sometimes Space Mountain goes down for whatever reason, but just be uh, checking the app. Whenever it doesn't have a wait time, that means that it's down. When it's down, hop on the people mover, and when you go through the portion of the people mover when you're in Space Mountain, the lights will be on. So some pretty awesome facts and secrets about Space Mountain, but it is Space Mountain's birthday, 45 years. So what better way to celebrate than to go on the ride? Imagine if they had Fast Pass in 1975. 45 years, 1975. Still possibly the very best queue in any Disney attraction. This queue right here is the best. I think this video right here is from 1975. Okay, so I figured it out. Standby goes to Alpha, Fast Pass goes to Omega. These look like the computers they might have used in 1975. 45 years. He's been stuck in there for a very long time. Oh yeah, this feels faster than 28 miles per hour. <laughs> we did it 45 years old today happy birthday space mountain and back in the day space mountain actually used to exit out into rca home of the future and space mountain was actually sponsored by rca for quite a while and then the sponsor was fedex and now it has no sponsor and check it out as i exit we've got some space mountain 45th anniversary merchandise this just came out today of course we got a hat pretty cool that cup's pretty awesome too and then we got a cool shirt space mountain 45th anniversary i feel like tim tracker showing you this merch so Space Mountain, 45 years. I can't believe that this roller coaster has been around for 45 years and is still the best roller coaster at the Magic Kingdom. But pretty soon we got Tron Light Cycle Run coming over here. A lot of people thought maybe this would replace Space Mountain. Thank goodness it didn't. Uh, people would have revolted if it would replace Space Mountain. But happy 45th birthday, Space Mountain. But man, what a great way to end the day over here, celebrating Space Mountain 45th anniversary by riding the ride. And I was able to share with you guys some pretty awesome facts, some cool stories and secrets about Space Mountain. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, happy 45th anniversary, Space Mountain. It's def it's definitely the best roller coaster here at the Magic Kingdom. Proud top three roller coaster in all of Walt Disney World. I love it so much. I hope Space Mountain doesn't go away. Uh, Space Mountain is a classic a theme park classic have you guys ever been on Space Mountain which Space Mountain is your favorite I know a lot of people like Disneyland Space Mountain a little bit better I think I am in that boat too but Space Mountain either way definitely an amazing amazing attraction but guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up follow my Instagram at MarcusQ.MQ don't forget to subscribe if you are new and it's kind of fun to do the impossible and I'll see you guys on the next video